So this button was excavated from lot 12 of Roosevelt Park yesterday and we couldn't quite see the design on it. And when we removed the dirt, we saw that there was an anchor there, but we couldn't quite see the details of the rope and the construction design of the button. So the button is now sitting on the platform of this instrument, which is called uh, the PAT, that's its nickname. It's a polynomial texture mapping instrument. And it collects a series of 40 pictures with the light shining upon the object from different angles. And then we upload those images into the PTM viewer and we're able to move the light around the object and see the relief uh, from different angles and the details of the finer details of the object beneath the corrosion and on the surface of it. Most of the metal artifacts that we find here in Detroit are corroded because the subsurface is exposed to quite a bit of moisture so even objects that are 100 years old tend to corrode fairly quickly in the ground so this is sometimes the only way we can see the original surfaces of the objects. Can you go back a little bit? To that? There's, there's a kind of depressed rim here around the button and some of it may even have small fine textural relief around it. Some molding, some ridges there maybe? Yeah. I'm pulling the light around it in a circle. You can see the light's kind of moving. It does look like there's writing up there when you go further up to the right there. Polynomial texture mapping is used fairly commonly in the museum world. Uh, our colleagues at the University of Chicago have an instrument that does this, but theirs is a hugely expensive, larger version of this, but they both do the same thing. They might be looking at ancient sculptures, Egyptian sculptures that are on a much larger scale, but this serves the purposes that we need to use it for in-house, and it's extra cool because the students built it, and they have a vested interest in using it. rope is going the opposite way around the anchor and it's like crossing on the top here and on, in this one it's crossing underneath. So that's why I think it might not actually be a military button but this is just a really small sample of military buttons. So maybe it's a replica of a military button. Mm -hmm.